Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve simultaneous equations. There are two main ways of solving simultaneous equations, which include the substitution method and the elimination method. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve them using the substitution method. If you don't already know what simultaneous equations are and the basic idea behind them, I highly suggest you click here and watch this video first. Otherwise, let's dive straight into this. So, we have our simultaneous equation here. Our first equation is 4x plus 2y equals 24. So that's our first equation. And our second is 3x minus 4y equals 7. That's our second. And we want to solve this by using the substitution method. The basic idea behind the substitution method is that we solve for either x or y in one of the equations so that we can then substitute it into our other equation, hence why it's called the substitution method. So for this example, let's solve for y in our first equation so we can substitute it into our second equation. So we're solving for y and so far we have 4x plus 2y equals 24. So we want y all by itself, so we can have the value of it. Well first, let's get rid of this 4x, so move it to this side by subtracting it from both sides, leaving us with 2y equals 24 minus 4x, and we want y by itself, so we divide both sides by 2. So y is equal to 12 minus 2x. Now we have a value for y here. So we are able to substitute it into our second equation. So we have 3x minus 4. And now here's where our y is. So this is where we substitute our value of y. So we write 12 minus 2x. And we have equals 7. So we can solve for x now and find a value for x. So we have 3x minus, so negative 4 times 12 is negative 48. Negative 4 times negative 2x, that's plus 8x, equals 7. Now we can combine our like terms to give us 11x minus 48 equals 7. We want x by itself, so let's get rid of this negative 48 by adding 48 to both sides, giving us 11x equals 55, because 48 plus 7 is 55. And now to get x all by itself, we divide both sides by 11. 55 divided by 11 is 5, so x equals 5. So we have our x value, and now we need our y value, and then we're done. So, I'll just clear up some space. So, now to get our y value, we substitute x back into one of these equations. So, let's just do the top one. So, we have 4. We put our 5 in for x plus 2y equals 24. That gives us 20 plus 2y equals 24, subtract 20 from both sides, leaving us with just 2y equals 4, and now we want y by itself, so we divide 2 from both sides, giving us y equals 2, and now we have our x and our y values. So we have found our x and y values, so the coordinates for the solution are x y equals our x is 5 and our y is 2. And we're done. That's how we solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method. If you would like to learn the second main method to solve simultaneous equations, the elimination method, click right here. And if you found the video helpful, Please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. 
and I wish you all the best with solving your simultaneous equations.